Okay, to, and today I'm going to make a couple of cryptocurrency predictions, and, and I'm not, you know, any sort of an expert. I've just followed this space for quite a while, and I wanted to show you this uh, before we got started, but if you are new to cryptocurrency or if you're just sitting on the sidelines watching and maybe you're just browsing YouTube, I don't know, however you come across this video, but you've got, this space is heating up, like, and, and I've got a major prediction coming at the end of this video. So, first of all, this headline caught me. Bitcoin price could reach 40,000 within years, billionaire Mark uh, Lassery says. First of all, I predicted it would hit 50,000 by the end of the year. That might not happen. Um, I definitely think it could hit 40,000 within two years. He says years, within two years at the most. We may see 20,000 Bitcoin by the end of this, this year, potentially 25,000 Bitcoin by the end of this year. Uh, I'm still very, very bullish on the technology and where it's going, especially when you see headlines like these. MasterCard wins a patent to link cryptocurrency with fiat currency. That is huge. That is that right here. This right here is the number one issue with cryptocurrency uh, is that there's not enough on and off ramps. As uh, and, uh, and Andreas Antonopoulos likes to say, there's not enough easy ways to get in and out of cryptocurrency. This could potentially be massive. Bitcoin mining giant Bitmain is tripling its development center in Brazil. Increasing Bitcoin mining, obviously. Bitcoin volume at 6.4 billion up 2x since last week as crypto markets surge. Massively positive news. Japanese internet giant GMO's new web bank will use blockchain for payments. Huge use of the technology there. Football legends becomes cryptocurrency startup ambassador. ICOs change the way companies are built. Decentralized capital launches Australia's first cryptocurrency vault. China sees 454% increase in companies with blockchain in its name. I mean, this is all just massive, massive, massive positive news today. Um, if you come over here, the markets have been up. And it, th my prediction that I'm going to make is basically around Ethereum and Bitcoin. And I'll, I'll cover that soon. But the markets are on their way up. Bitcoin did touch like 500 yesterday, maybe just over 500. Um, and I think, uh, I think, I'm sorry, Ethereum was just over 500. Bitcoin was over 7,500. And it went quite a bit higher. I'm not sure how much higher it went. But, you know, the markets are predominantly green across the board. By the way, Stellar's up quite a bit. Um, so check this out. Here's my prediction, by the way. Those of you who've been following my channel, you know that I've been playing FOMO 3D, which is a great cryptocurrency game based off the Ethereum blockchain. Here, here is my prediction. And let me just tell you what I did yesterday. Those that were watching, I asked you yesterday, should I... Purchase, use my earnings of about, I think I had about $300 to purchase more keys. And I did. Um, I, I'm, I'm on track to earn over $100 again today from awards as a key holder. So I'll probably buy more keys. Um, so even today, I, I'm going to keep going and I'll tell you why. And this leads into my prediction. I, I'm watching today and I'm thinking, you know what? The number of people buying keys has slowed down. The number of, um, Earnings from key buyers has slowed down, but check this out. Stats. This is crazy. There's been a $1.5 million in distributed rewards. Um, time, this is time purchased. So in this game, basically the way it works is, uh, keep in mind, there's been a total of 6.5 years, six and a half years purchase. I'll explain that in a moment. The way it works is the last person to buy a key when this clock hits zero wins the active pot. This is almost a half a million dollars. It may break half a million dollars potentially today before the day's out. A half a million dollars. It, it, you know, a key, keys right now are like 0 0.001. Let's see what that is. So one key is 0 0.0011 basically. Um, over here, currently one key, we'll say add a one to it. It's 54 cents. 54 cents right now to buy a key. So essentially, for 54 cents, you have the chance to be able to win nearly a half a million dollars in Ethereum. However, you the way you win it is you gotta be the last person, but you notice that we're 23 hours away. Every time someone buys a key, it adds 30 seconds to the clock. In the beginning, it was adding 90 seconds. Now it adds 30 seconds to the clock. But no one's letting the clock tick down. They keep buying because every time you buy a key, you earn rewards from everyone who buys a key after you, as evidence right here. That's where the $64 comes from. And you can withdraw that right now if you want to, or you can use it to buy more keys or do whatever you want. So this is crazy. 
and, and that's just a small part of this game. There's other components as well, such as the teams, etc. But this is crazy. So this, this is absolutely insane. No one's letting it even get below the 23 hour mark. And I'm sitting here thinking, I mean, this could go on and on and on for months, potentially years. So right now, I'm just going to keep buying more, keep buying more, keep buying more. But what's happening is this Ethereum is getting tied up in the contract. Now, you see there's almost a thousand Ethereum here, but there's also been Ethereum paid out. But this game is sucking in Ethereum. And what that will eventually do, I mean, if this does go on for months or for years, what it's going to eventually do is it's going to pull from, it's going to make less and less Ethereum available. Look, and as that happens, I mean, FOMO 3D could suck in, you know, 10,000, 100,000 Ethereum potentially. Like that, that is possible. And as that continues to happen, and then there's, this is one version of the game. There's another version where it only has a one hour clock. So there'll be people playing that. And the whole idea behind that is that the goal is to kind of force people to, for the round not to last as long. So hopefully it won't go for months or for years. So no one's letting this tick down. And I'm thinking, wow. I keep buying more keys. How many more people out there are buying more keys? And yet nobody really knows about this game yet. This is only a seven, eight, nine days old. Like this is still early, 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 early days. So here's my prediction. My prediction is unless something happens to the contract or the Ethereum network, my prediction is the flipping occurs next year where Ethereum rises above Bitcoin. I could be wrong on that, it should, but the real the real reason for me making that prediction is it causes is personally, it's not some again that's not financial advice for you, but it causes me to pay attention to Ethereum a little bit better and the price of Ethereum and how much closer it's getting to Bitcoin because I believe that the way it's going right now, there's more DApps to come, there's more smart contracts to come to use Ethereum. Uh, 3D is a brand they have. Um, Proof of Week has 3D. Um, there's FOMO 3D. 3D is a brand, but there's more quote unquote 3D games that come out that are all smart contracts built on the Ethereum blockchain. Every single one of them will use Ethereum. So just this one game alone could potentially, potentially just overrun um, the, the just continue to suck up Ethereum because this is only about, I think, 50% of the Ethereum in the game because the rest of the Ethereum gets paid out and rewards to key holders, and it also gets paid out to people who own the Proof of Weekend tokens as well. A small percentage, less than 10% gets paid out there as kind of a dividend or a reward. Uh, but anyway, so if you're wondering what I did yesterday, you saw my video yesterday, I did go ahead and reinvest, and I'm probably gonna continue to reinvest today, and I'm gonna continue to add, um, I'm at least gonna get to 10 Ethereum personally in this game, and I may, Go even higher. We'll wait and see. But I'm at least going to get to 10 Ethereum. Uh, what I like is I'm definitely, even as key buying slows down for whatever reason, um, I'm still, as I continue to put more Ethereum in, I'm just increasing the odds that I'm going to be making 100 plus per day in Ethereum rewards, which is which is awesome. I mean, that's just totally, totally passive uh, Ethereum earnings, basically. Um, just for playing the game. So it's going to be very fascinating to see where this goes. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Listen, if you're new to the Bitcoin space, if you're new to the cryptocurrency space, subscribe to my channel. Keep watching, paying attention. Um, I love to talk about this stuff and, and I kind of come at it from a different angle than a lot of other people do. Um, I love to talk about the future of Bitcoin, the future of cryptocurrencies on where it's going to happen, what's going to happen. I love the fact that it's a decentralized, trustless environment. Love it. I love that we're playing games that are smart contracts uh, built on the Ethereum network and smart contracts, I'll cover what that is in another video and I've already covered it in the past on previous videos as well. But thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.